you can see the kneeboard. All of the instructions in this tutorial are recorded on the Messages page. The Briefing page displays the mission briefing. To close the kneeboard, click the X in the upper right corner. To open it again, press Shift F10. You're sitting in an Air Creation Trike Ultralight at the end of runway 15 at Edwards Air Force Base, California. This is one of the longest runways in the world, the same runway the Space Shuttle sometimes lands on. In missions, you can navigate using the Mission Compass and the Mission Pointer. See the gauge in the upper left corner of the screen? That's the Mission Compass. The little triangle on the outside of the rotating heading indicator points to the selected objective or item of interest. The text below the indicator tells you the name of the objective, its altitude above sea level, as well as your distance from it. See the big marker in front of you? That's the mission pointer. It points to objectives or items of interest. In some missions, there will be more than one objective or item of interest. You can change which item the mission compass and pointer point to by pressing the K key. You can hide the mission compass and pointer by pressing the U key. To look around, move the hat switch on top of your joystick, or press and hold the space bar, then move the mouse to look around. Feel free to experiment by looking around your craft now. You can also try different views by pressing the I, F10, F11, and F12 keys. When you're done experimenting use, press 1, progress to the next phase of this Oreo. You can control an aircraft in flight simulator by using a joystick, a universal controller, the mouse, or the arrow keys on the keyboard. Time to go flying. You're going to start the engine, release the brakes, take off, fly through some gates, and then land again. First, move the throttle to idle. You don't have a stick or a universal controller. Press the F1 E. Next, start the ultralight's engine. Press Control E, or click the ignition switch on the instrument panel. You can control the throttle using the throttle lever on a joystick, by pressing buttons on a universal controller, or by pressing the F1, F2, F3, and F4 keys on the keyboard. The instructions in this tutorial are generalized to apply to any of these methods. For detail about using different types of controllers, refer to the quick reference card or to the briefing for this mission. Ready for takeoff? Smoothly advance the throttle to full. If you don't have a joystick, press the F4 key. Pull back on the stick a bit. Taking off is easy. At about 30 miles per hour, gently pull the stick towards it, and the aircraft will fly off the runway. Congratulations, you're flying! Pull back gently on the stick and climb a bit to fly through the first gate you see in front of you. Great! Now climb a bit more and fly through the second gate. Now reduce the throttle a bit and slow down. The next gate is a little lower than the last one, and you landing one and you'll be landing one and you'll through it. Reduce the throw all the way, and use the stick to adjust your scent weight.
Pull back slightly on the stick and let out. Try float over the runway as long as possible. Now, pull the trigger on your joystick or press the period key. Come to a complete stop. Nice landing.